So, exercise. I don't want to do it. I'm too tired. I just want to sit on my butt and watch TV. Well, don't do it. Exercise is important. And no matter your health, no matter your age, no matter your physical disabilities, there is an exercise that's right for you. If you have a medical problem, uh, then going to exercise under supervision is critically important. And if you haven't exercised for a long time, you need to make sure that you're healthy enough, enough to start exercise. So go to your doctor, have an exam, and find out what you can and what you can't do. And there really are four exercises that are critically important to health. The first is stretching. You've got to stretch those muscles when you wake up. Stretching is one good way to stay limber, to stay healthy, and as you begin another exercise, your chance of developing an injury or muscle pain is reduced. So if you're going out for a brisk walk, exercise, stretch beforehand. Stretch your muscles, stretch your back, stretch those legs around. Make sure that you've done as much stretching as you need in order to be ready to begin walking. And by the way, if you go to a reputable website, the National Institute on Aging has exercises that are right for a person of any age, and I would recommend that you consider using them. So number one is stretching. Number two is balance. What happens to us as we grow older? Well, once you reach my age, I have about a 30% chance of falling every year. And at 73, I've had two major falls. One that led to concussion and a broken uh, ankle that caused me not to go on vacation with my family. The other led to concussion and a broken shoulder. I tripped. But on the other hand, as we grow older, gait and balance problems are a common cause of an inexplicable fall. And once you reach the age of 75 and beyond, a major fall with a fracture can end the, your life in terms of quality. There are lots of exercises you can do. Stand on one leg uh, for as long as you can. Stand on one leg and close your eyes. Lean uh, backwards, have someone behind you with both your feet together. Walk one foot in front of the other. All these elements are ways in which you can improve your balance. The third is exercising with weights. Nothing is more important than exercising with weights. And the reason is that as we grow older, we inevitably lose muscle and that muscle is changed to fat. So if you stay the same weight from age 30 to age 70, at age 30, of your total body weight, 80 to 90% will be muscle and 10% will be fat if you're lucky. But if you're ideal at that age, by the time you're 70, you will have 40% muscle and 60% fat. So as we grow older, we progressively lose muscle mass and we get slower. And slowing down, a decrease in gait results in a high risk of falling. And it has been compellingly shown that if you exercise with weights and you exercise your muscles to exhaustion, you can double your strength and increase your muscle mass by 20 to 30 percent. So how should you do this? Well, don't go buy some dumbbells and try and do it at home because it never works. You need to go to a gym. You need to join a health club or alternatively, if you're a volunteer at Baxter Regional Medical Center, 
you can, uh, you can go to their local gym and under supervision learn how to exercise with machines and weights. And if you do it pr appropriately, you won't hurt yourself. You will build muscle mass. You will improve your gait and balance. And your risk of illness will go down. And exercising with weights reduces the risks of depression. It reduces the risk of diabetes. If you build muscle and reduce fat, you can reverse diabetes. It improves gait and balance and decreases your risk of falling by 80%. 80%! That's absolutely incredible! 80%. And last but not least, exercising with weights and building muscle uh, allows you to exercise aerobically much better. And the last exercise that's critically important is increasing your heart rate and increasing your respirations. Moving your heart and your lungs is the only exercise that prolongs life. And how much should we do? And the answer is, at a minimum, to walk 150 minutes a week. 150 minutes a week, 30 minutes, five days a week, and you will live longer, age better, and have a better life. Thanks for listening. I'll be back next month.